Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. It is actually Tuesday, December 26. You don't know what that means, but it is time for the High Risk Wrestling Recap. I am your host. Yes, it's a little late. This was a really weird weekend. I got sick on Saturday, so I couldn't celebrate Festivus, and then the podcast got delayed to Sunday, and then yesterday was Christmas, and it's a, it was a whole thing, but as always, check me out on the socials, Charismatic Creations on Facebook and YouTube, Charismatic underscore Creations 52, on Instagram, of course, the 215, Coffee, Patreon, we're going to be doing some big things in, um, in the new year, and we're going to do that, uh, we're going to go over that next week with the High Risk Wrestling Recap, since uh, wrestling is kind of off this week, with the exception of uh, AEW, weird Right, but let's get into the news. WDB has signed, uh, well, re signed a couple of stars. So, first things first, everybody there they want they're going to be trying to sign into long term deals and greatly increase the conversation because they don't want free agents going out into the world, going to AEW, going to uh, TNA, especially, especially AEW and TNA, those are the two big ones. But uh, we have uh, news that people like Seth, Becky, Sheamus, Drew, and others' contracts are expiring. But Seth and Becky have re signed. Dominic Mysterio has signed a new long term deal. Ray Mysterio has signed a new long term deal. Charlotte has signed a new long term deal. And I'm pretty much assuming that her injury time will be added to the contract as well. Uh, Bailey has signed a new long-term deal. I was hoping, I was hoping, hoping, hoping she didn't re-sign as I wanted her to go out into the world and team up with Mercedes. Over on TNA, they have done some more on the rebranding. Um, Jay Chung is the new uh, ring announcer for TNA. She will be starting, I believe, at the next pay-per-view that will be taking place in uh las vegas she's also the wife of josh alexander she does have history of being in the ring has gotten involved with her husband in the ring she so she could uh still go into the ring she is an active wrestler but right now she is focusing on the ring announcer role mlw has big plans uh af- with their money after the uh antitrust lawsuit with the WWE has been settled they're going to be making some plans to signing people for changing their schedule um they've already got a couple people coming in they have already inked a deal with sammy callahan and tna is setting aside money for major free agents there's been an announcement by scott d Moore that there is a major signing coming uh, to TNA at the next pay-per-view and we have people like Dolph Ziggler and Mustafa Ali whose um, no non-compete clauses are up I'm just saying uh, it's been called from above that Samantha Irving can't do her usual Chelsea Green uh, entrance you know Chelsea Green because Samantha's awesome um, and it sucks so it's either someone's hating and just being a curmudgeon or there might be a storyline in the works for Chelsea Green because there's even a Justice for Chelsea hashtag being started on Twitter. But it just sucks that, you know, Samantha can't have fun. Uh, TNA, back to TNA, they have re-signed a couple of people. They have re-signed the most professional wrestler. Brian Myers has re-signed with the company. Uh, and TNA is returning, you know, with the next review with Hard to Kill. They've also re-signed, they've also signed Danny Luna, who was a former NXT UK star. They've signed uh, 19-year-old Leon Slater. They've signed Harley Hudson back during their UK tour. They've also locked down a few more names, including the Rascals, have re-signed. They've locked in... Um, there was somebody else that re-signed the company, but they are not playing around. I'm very much excited for this rebrand when it comes to TNA. Uh, there's a massive merger talk between Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount to merge. This is weird. I'm blaming this on David Zaslav because he is a straight up dick head and this what does what mean for AEW? We don't know just yet. Both 
but Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount have their own uh, streaming platforms with Warner Brothers Discovery have a Max, Paramount have a Paramount Plus. One is clearly better than the other. We shall see what will happen if this merger goes down. And it would definitely influence the a uh, the TV deals for AEW for uh, WB because with, with with this merger, right? Warner Brothers will have the streaming, but Paramount has CBS and all the CBS affiliated channels. So could we see professional wrestling on CBS? We've already seen boxing on CBS uh, and some not so shocking news. Uh, uh, what's his boy's name? Matt Riddle has signed with MLW. He goes back to MLW since 2017. Uh, and yeah, he's going to be working with the company. Don't know how long the signing will be, but we will find out what's in store. So MLW is starting to make some waves as well. Hiroshi Tanahashi has received a promotion in New Japan for wrestling. He is now the president of New Japan Pro Wrestling the other changes have been made. The director is now Hitoshi Matsusumo, and uh, the other director is Taro Okada. Uh, and this is on a just a part time basis. We have the full match card for Wrestle Kingdom. Um, so we have a tag team match with Kaito Kiyo, Kiyo Mia and Shoto Umano versus Ren Narido and Evil. We have Yu Yu Yamura versus Yoda Suji. We have a winner takes all tag team title match with the IWGP tag team champion Soroku Goda and Yoshihashi versus the New Japan Strong Openweight tag team champions Hukaleo and El Fantasmo. We have an Openweight championship match with Shingo Takagi, the champion, taking on Tamataga. We have the IWGP Junior Heavyweight tag team championship with Clark Connors and Driller Maloney, the champions, taking on TJP and Francisco Akira. The World Television Championship is on the line of Zach Zebra Jr. Will be, will be defending against Hiroshi Tanahashi. The Junior Heavyweight Champion she will be on the line as Hiromu Takahashi will be defending against El Desperado. We have the inaugural Global Heavyweight Championship match. Will Ospreay will be taking on John Moxley and David Finley in a triple threat match. Brian Danson will take it. Will be taking on Kazuchika Okada and the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as Sonata will be defending against Tatsuyu Knight. So now clearly missing from this card is the New Japan Women's Championship, but that will actually be headlining a stardom show taking place earlier in the show for the, the stardom card. So, yeah. And one more thing on signings. Katsuyore Shibata is officially all elite. Could have saw that coming on the injury side of things. Xavier Woods has been pulled off of the road for an undisclosed issue. Uh, he was in Birmingham. He was in Birmingham, Alabama, a couple weeks ago. C.J. Perry's out of the hospital. She had that infection on her finger. It was oh, it was a splinter she got working backstage. It was na -na 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 nasty. Ray Phoenix has been forced to withdraw from an indie event due to injury. Um, we don't know what the injury is, but he looked like he sustained. It's the same injury he sustained back in the four-way tag team match at Russell Dream and Charlotte Flair. Uh, will be out uh, probably until October next year as she tore her ACL and her MCL. Hey, it happens a lot. We see this kind of injury a lot, but I listen, I'm not going to be proud of it, but the women's division will be better off with her not in it at the moment. But that is the news, and we shall be right back. All right, let's get into the week that was monday night raw you know how we are doing uh the show it's 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 whatever we got a little bit of fun here a little bit of fun there the show gets a fist so we open up the judgment day and they come out and say judgment day things truth comes out and it's like yo why was like come on y'all what's what's up truth is just great here he says even though you'll beat me up i know that was my initiation into the group and he suggests that he and McDonough have a miracle on 34th Street fight and the loser is out of the J Judgment Day. Even though the match was already scheduled, Damien Priest thinks it's funny. Our truth wins by accident. It, it was just good, wholesome, fun. Becky wants Naya and Naya will fight Becky on her time. So that match will happen in two weeks in San Diego. Um... Becky then attacked Naya, but Naya laid her out. Oh, we have Kofi Claus is here. He's just giving out, you know, gifts to the to the crowd. Gunther retained the Intercontinental Championship against The Miz. This was hands down The Miz's greatest singles match 
ever. And I'm attributing that to Gunther. I'm, I'm just, I just am. Um, Gunther later shamed Vinci and Kaiser and Kofi gives them some coal. Cody attacked Shinsuke after Shinsuke told his story. They brought in the arena until security broke them up. Caden Carter, Katana Chance are your new women's tag team champions after they defeated Chelsea Green and Piper. Nevin is good to get the uh, the championships on a bona fide team. Um, yeah, it was a really it was a good match too. So I want to see what's next for Chelsea and Piper Ivan now is finally giving her match versus Rhea. She's gonna stand up for her friend Maxine Dupree. The way Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, and Tegan Knox and Natalia want a shot at the team titles, which is good. Like, let's get some challenges here, but let's you know get the titles over to SmackDown and NXT as well. You know, we have teams on SmackDown like the Kabuki Warriors and the rest of Damage Control and Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. We've got teams down in NXT, so let's just Spread the love. Uh, Ivar defeated Akira Tozawa, and Tozawa was treated like a serious threat here. He's getting more and more confident and um, competent in the ring. Drew told his story to Seth that, just like your wife, while she was over here, her family was back home, and now I'm here. My family, my wife, are across the seas. And Drew is just speaking facts, and people keep calling him crazy. He is just honest. And Seth says, even though he hates CM Punk, he pities Drew. And Drew didn't take too kindly to that. So he attacked him and gave him a reverse Alabama slam on the steps. Imperium attacked Kofi Kingston in the ring. So Jay defeated Kaiser in a match. And in the main event, the Judgment Day retained the Tag Team Championships over the Creed Brothers. We built up the Creeds for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, I'm not going to say just for them to lose. This was a good Lost because they, they were never going to beat the Judgment Day, but they just looked really, really good here over on Dynamite. This show gets a thumbs up. The Gold League portion of the Continental the Classic comes to an end. So we open up with Swerve defeating Roosh. Uh, he advances to the finals with a total of 12 points. Roosh looked good here, and it was like that he his character bleeds into his ring work. It's just I wish he had a little bit more urgency here. Jericho announces Kenny's injury. Uh, which is diverticulitis. Uh, Mark Briscoe defeated Jay Lethal to earn three points. He finally got a W. And I love the story here. Jay is a, you know, a GOAT. And he didn't get any points here. Mark's like, I'm a rookie. You know what I mean? I've been attacking wrestler my entire life. This is my first year as a singles competitor. So, of course, he's going to lose matches. Like, it's, it's just good storytelling. Um, Wardlow says MGF's time is running out. Samoa Joe thinks Max Jacob Freeman is the devil. As we never see the devil actually attack Max. Max comes out and has a problem with that, and they kind of get into it. And then the devil challenges Joe and MGF for the tag Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. Riho defeated Soraya, Soraya to earn a title shot. Tony tried to attack Riho uh, after the match. Tony was on commentary, but Riho fought her off until Mariah May made the save. Tony Schiavone reads to prepare a statement from Christian, which essentially say Christian's going to say some things on Collision. MGF and Swerve have words with each other. This was good. 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 Hype. Swerve. Swerve. Uh, Roderick. Strong defeated Commander and Roderick and the Kingdom still believe that MGF is the devil and they keep putting signs around the arena. Saying so in the main event, Jay White defeated John Moxley to earn a spot in the Gold League Final. So now the Gold League Final will be a triple threat match between Mox, uh, Swerve, and Jay White. Jay chop block Mox after the match well, when Swerve came out over on Impact. This is just the best of Impact show going over the best, you know, matches and feuds and superstars of the year and so on and so forth. We're just chilling until the TNA rebrand next year that's all they're doing we got one more best of show which is this week smackdown everybody wants to shout out roman and more so it's Rome, it's randy a uh, aj and la knight so all three come out aj essentially told la knight you walked over my, my over my body to not only get the tag match with cena to take on the bloodline but to also get the title match and aj didn't like that um, Bianca, Meechan, Zelina, and Shotzi defeated Damage Control in a Holiday Havoc match. Isla Dawn and Alba Fire attacked the Kabuki Warriors, so I'm so happy that Isla and Alba are back. Io uh, got pinned by Meechan, so Meechan will be the one getting the title shot. There was no stipulation here, it was just Meechan's will get the title shot because she pinned Io. Uh, Roman doesn't care or know who Nick Aldis is. This will later come back to bite him. A uh, Dragon Lee defeated Butch to advance in the U.S. title tournament. They show respect to each other after the match. Nick Aldis doesn't submit to Roman. He he just he just doesn't. He says, "I'm not Adam Pierce. I'm in charge. You listen to me." He also planted some seeds 
of uh, Solo got the job done against Cena, but not Roman. Hmm. Roman had no comebacks for this. KO defeated Carmelo Hayes to advance in the U.S. title tournament. AJ Styles doesn't know if he's cool with the OC anymore. I don't need moody AJ Styles. Karrion Cross says Karrion Cross things because he's a loser. Santos Escobar defeated Bobby Lashley in the U.S. title tournament with help from two masked men, later revealed to be Humberto Carrillo and Angel Garza. We pretty much said this was going to happen. Uh, Butch loses his cool backstage and attacks Pretty Deadly as they were taunting him, and AJ Styles versus Solo Sokoa ends with a no contest after Roman Reigns attacked, and then AJ, Randy, and Knight were arguing and fighting each other, and Roman just let it Happened over on Rampage. Orange Cassidy retained the international championship against Rocky Romero. Stokely Hathaway tried stoking the flames against Chris Dale and telling, like, yo, Willow's been saying this, that, and the third. And we know it's not true. And Chris better not believe Stokely. Uh, the Kingdom defeated the Hardy Boys. Soraya hates Angela Parker, will not let him take Ruby Soho from her. Sky Blue defeated Queen Aminata. And El He held out of Go retained the AAA Mega Championship over Black. Taurus over on Collision, we had the Blue League final come to an end. Uh, Claudio and Danielson fought to a draw, and Cla Danielson ended up with more points, so he earned himself a spot in the finals. They showed each other major respect after this. The acclaimed and daddy ass retained the trio championships over Top Flight, and that is Top Flight and Action Andretti. I'm including Action Andretti as part of the Top Flight team. But yes, let's get the trio's titles back uh, back working. You know what I mean? Keith Lee defeated Brian Cage in a big, meaty men slapping man meat match. And after the match, Keith Lee says uh, someone tried to take him out with a cinder block and put him out for two months so now he's got he's been mentioning that man and now since he's not listening he's going to go to dynamite and tear his house down brick by brick Ooh. mariah may will have her first match soon she wants tony support tony has no idea who mariah may is i'm like yo she's been with you for like a month now um and tony says she's also not worried about reho Shayna wayne aligns herself with christian cage essentially she saw adam copeland try to murder her son and saw how much christian cares about nick wayne that's it that's all the logic i need uh jericho tells big bill and ricky starks that he is not forfeiting the title match uh i think jericho's partner will end up being sammy guevara because sammy always comes to help jericho um, Dan Garcia defeated Brody King earning three points and the crowd was very 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 happy for this we tell good stories in the C2 man uh, Malachi Black and Buddy Matthew showed up to attack Dan Garcia Matt Bernard tried fighting them off but it didn't work and so FTR came out and we're going to get this tag match probably at uh, World's End which is this week uh, Thunder Rosa and Abaddon defeated Sky Blue and Julia Hart. I love Thunder Rosa. I'm happy she's back from injury, but I did not need her winning this match. Give me a little bit in the ring rust department. And in the main event, Eddie Kingston defeated Andrade to earn a spot in the Gold League final. So it will be him versus Brian Danielson. Our matches of the week from Monday Night Raw, Gunther versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Just, just good, man. Gunther is like immune to having bad, bad matches. He can have down matches, but he can't have a bad match. Also, from Raw, the Judgment Day defending the Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships versus the Creed Brothers. From Dynamite, Mark Briscoe versus Jay Lethal in a Continental Classic match. And, I, and even though there were two other matches on the show, I liked this one the best. From And also from Collision, Brian Danielson versus Claudio Castagnoli and Dan Garcia versus Brody King. Both continental classic matches and our star of the week i have to give it to the returning thunder rosa but that is our show thank you for listening thank you for watching um this saturday we will have the cutters the year end awards and let's go over the categories one more uh, time for y'all we're going to put them up and the nominees up on twitter this week we have breakout star of the year rookie of the year return of the year feud of the year heel of the year face of the year tag team of the year faction of the year female wrestler of the year male wrestler of the year promotion of the year wrestler of the year and match 
of the year. I'm thinking about adding maybe one or two more categories. I don't know yet. I'm going to go over that. But we will figure it out. But that is our show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to check out the socials. Charismatic Creations on Facebook and YouTube. Charismatic underscore Creations 52 on Instagram. The 215 on Twitter. The Weebly site is coming. Patreon, coffee, all of that good jazz. And I will see you when I see you. I am Jeremy Pierce, this has been the High Risk Wrestling Recap. Peace.